before I get into this video, I want to remind you that we are giving away a Legend of Zelda Highly in Shield replica. That's right, an actual replica shield. We're also giving away two copies of Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition and two Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Zelda Switch OLEDs. These are a kickoff giveaway for Prime Gaming Fest. You can enter it right now by heading down to the pinned comment or in the description. Click the link, enter. All that's required is that you have to be subscribed because it is a giveaway for our subscribers. We're on our road to 133,000 subscribers, which, um, yeah, we're trying to match 133 years of Nintendo. Now, let's get into this rumor out here. We're going to call this a rumor. It, look, it, it doesn't feel like much of a rumor. It feels like almost a certainty, but... Whenever somebody utters the words Nintendo Showcase, and it's somebody that potentially could be connected and would be in the know, it's worth at least talking about. And frankly, we have not heard anything about another Nintendo Direct or a Showcase or an Indie World from anybody. All of our typical insiders, like the Jeff Grubbs and the Nate Drakes of the world, have really dried up and told us, Hey, when we hear something, maybe we'll tell you guys, but right now we haven't heard anything. Well, that seems to have changed because Ethan Gash has now gone out there to say something. Now, Ethan Gash is a senior editor at Kotaku, and yes, he is one of those senior editors that was acting all sourpuss over the lack of Tears of the Kingdom stuff at Nintendo. So you might go, hey, if Nintendo won't give these people access to Tears of the Kingdom, how the heck would they have access to information? Well, that's because when you're getting inside information, it has nothing to do with what the company tells you. It has to do with who you know. And whether you like them or not, Kotaku does get invited to pretty much all of the press events all over the world and makes lots of connections. And thus, it's highly likely that Ethan Gash does have connections directly with employees at Nintendo. So what did he say? Because this news wasn't just about Nintendo. It's also about Sony, and it might be more exciting for PlayStation fans than Nintendo fans. But let's read what he put in a tweet. He just did this a couple hours ago. It says, Sources are telling me both PlayStation and Nintendo will have additional digital showcases this year. Keep your eyes tuned to this channel and watch the space for more developments in the coming weeks and months. Now, what's interesting here is he mentions weeks and months. Weeks would suggest, hey, something's happening in June. Now, PlayStation just went, so it wouldn't really make sense if they had a showcase coming up here in June after they just did one. The only one that makes sense in coming weeks would be Nintendo, but you know, months and months from now could be another PlayStation showcase. Now, others have mentioned that Sony might have another PlayStation showcase this year, which is quite interesting because it was two years since the last PlayStation showcase. Then they had this one that seemed to underwhelm most people who watched it, and now they got another one potentially coming later this year. But for our purposes here at Nintendo Prime, while we will obviously cover that showcase and live react to it, what we're interested in is the Nintendo side of things. So again, we have heard nothing from Nintendo, nothing from the typical insiders, and Ethan Gash is not someone who typically gives us this sort of information. So saying Nintendo will have an additional digital showcase or showcases this year, you know, it, it's a given that we're going to get more directs, right? Like just saying, hey, Nintendo's going to have more directs this year. That's not really news. The news part to me is when he says developments in the coming weeks. And when you say coming weeks, that really just feels like that is centered around Nintendo, months being centered around PlayStation. Now, does this mean we're going to get a Nintendo event in June? Well, if you think about this year already, we've had an indie showcase and a Nintendo Direct. It's highly likely we're going to get at least one more Nintendo Direct this year. Probably another one, maybe two indie showcases. Heck, we could end up getting a third-party partner showcase thrown in there as well. Let alone individual game directs, such as a Direct for none other than Pikmin 4 or Metroid Prime 4 if that comes this year or whatever Nintendo has cooking now. Here's the thing. We do know Nintendo is at Gamescom in August. Nintendo announced it themselves that they are going to be at Gamescom with game demos. Now, what's really interesting about being at Gamescom with game demos is that Nintendo doesn't have any new games currently announced for that period or beyond. And Nintendo 
doesn't always really go to Gamescom. In fact, Nintendo typically doesn't go there at all. But with no E3 this year, Nintendo is attending Gamescom with game demos. They're also doing Nintendo Live and PAX West right at the beginning of September, which is quickly after Gamescom concludes. So it's really within two weeks. They're going to be having a bunch of demos both here in the East and in the West. And we're talking Eastern and Western hemispheres. So... With Nintendo ha planning to show games, at least game demos of games, during that time period, they naturally need to announce those games before. So, you sort of catch my drift when Ethan Gash is sitting here saying, hey, PlayStation and Nintendo will have additional digital showcases this year, and to keep your eyes peeled to him, and uh, I'm assuming he means Kotaku, for future developments in the coming weeks and months, it really feels like Nintendo's the one in the coming months weeks they gotta have something in june or july or early august that's really what we're looking at here it is now the end of may so we're heading into june and then there's july and early august so really within somewhere within five six weeks from now we gotta have something so the way i look at this is this indicates to me that if nintendo has a direct coming it's going to be at the end of June. Unfortunately, that means it'll miss Prime Gaming Fest, which I know you guys don't know what that is yet. We'll give details on that soon. But it is interesting thinking about Nintendo's timing on this and why they might not be letting people know. If you remember, we did have rumors going into last year's June uh, a little bit. We had some rumors that a Direct was coming, but they were from the sort of insiders that have been known to sort of make guesses. Nate Drake didn't really say anything about a direct coming until halfway through June. And then he mentioned, hey, we're going to have like a third party direct. And that turned out to be what it is. So there's still plenty of time for our usual trusted insiders to get information and share it. But Ethan Gash is the first one putting out there that, hey, he's got sources that Nintendo's doing something. What games they could be showing? That is the big question. Is Nintendo holding back for hardware? What are they doing? Is, I mean, honestly, your guess is as good as mine. We know there's a ton of DLC coming, and I'm sure some of that DLC would be featured in this. But what else could be in the mix? What are the new games coming? And right now, while we have rumored games like F-Zero GX Remaster or, I don't know, that Donkey Kong game that's been rumored for a couple years, honestly, we don't know what Nintendo is dropping. And if the last Direct is anything to go off of, remember, they gave us Metroid Prime Remaster in that Direct out of nowhere, just shadow dropped it, available now. So that really means that we have no idea what Nintendo is doing. Nintendo is going to Nintendo, which means they're going to surprise, they're going to hit us out of left field, and we're not going to see it coming. So you know what? I'm looking really forward to this next show, and maybe the big reason is because Pikmin 4 is all we really have from Nintendo at this point. And honestly, that means Nintendo must be holding back some pretty big announcements, especially if they're going to be at Gamescom and do a Nintendo Live and PAX West. That really suggests, hey, you know what? Maybe they didn't have enough games they wanted to show at E3. Again, Nintendo's words. That was their excuse for not being part of E3. They also might have saw, you know, the writing that, hey, you know what? No one else is going to E3, so why are we going to go to E3? But Nintendo is clearly planning to do something this summer and show us games. So I can't wait to see what it is. I guess shout out to Ethan Gash for being the first insider to let us know that something's coming. Not as if we didn't think something was coming anyways, but now we at least can put a name and an outlet to one of the first sources that we are going to get a Nintendo showcase or in this case, a Nintendo Direct at some point. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.